Hello everybody! Today I'm going to share something you might have not heard of, but it's actually present in almost our day-to-day -day lives. Caustics. Now, to give you a little insight as to what caustic is, this is what I'm going to teach you how to do in Blender. Now, this is before caustics, and this is after caustics. So, what are caustics? A caustic is essentially the concentrated patterns of light you get after light passes through a transparent or translucent material, such as glass, or in this case, water. So this is what caustic is, this little forms of light. Now, of course, glass and water are two completely different things, and one is definitely easier to simulate than the other. But more or less, they almost have the exact same process on how you can simulate them in Blender. For now, we'll just be simulating basic water caustics as you have seen already. Now, Simulating caustics in Blender is practically almost the same as you would attain caustics in real life. All you really need is a light source. For example, here I have a sunlight and of course a caustics casters or our water surface. Now before we can get straight into that, let's tie let's clean everything up. Let's make a new scene. So I'm going to click on here. Okay. So we're just going to make a very simple scene by simply, we're just going to, we're basically just going to recreate what I had earlier. So I'm just going to create a plane for my water surface and I'm going to create a Suzanne monkey. So for my Suzanne monkey, I'm just going to add a very basic subdivision surface. So it's going to be clean and you can easily see the details. So control two, all right, shade smooth this one. And then for now, I'm going to hide it. And we're going to mainly focusing on our Plane here because this is what it, what we're going to use as our caustics caster or our water surface. So we're just going to create a basic motion ocean modifier here by clicking on here and add a ocean modifier. Now this is where your own creativity creativity comes into play. Now if you're working on a basic still render, sure go nuts, go nuts and try to get a nice looking water surface. But if you're going to be working with an animation, I would highly suggest knowing how you plan on animating your water first before making any changes. But since I'll be working on a still render, I can just simply go at it and finish up once I'm satisfied with how the water looks. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with my water surface. And like I said, you can just go nuts on how you want your surface to look by playing around with the size and spatial size. You can also scale your water up and down if you want to. And then of course you can change the various items here like the waves. Now, the one thing that you should take note of here is our resolution here. We have a viewport resolution and our render resolution. This should always stay equal if you really want to see accurate results both in your viewport and in your render. Now, this one, as the name suggests, resolution. If you have a high resolution, like for example, 20 here, your water surface becomes more finer, more detailed really. So that's what you should take note of. But uh, adding resolution to your ocean modifier or increasing the resolution will definitely take a toll in your render time because this just subdivides your plane more and more. So if you were just going to be testing things, maybe start at a fairly low resolution like what I have here, which is 8. And then once you're going to start rendering, then you can change your resolution to whatever you want. Or in my case, I'll probably set it to 20 later. But we'll come back to that later because we're pretty much done with our water surface, as I've said. So let's move on to maybe just setting this monkey down right here, just so I can see what I'm going to do later here. All right, let's now start adding our material. So we're just going to make a basic water material or a water shader. So I'm going to go to my material properties, click on you, and then just so I don't get lost, even though it's the only object in my scene, I'm just going to call it water. And then I'm going to go to my shading so you can see a more clearer uh, change in my shader right here. Now I'm just going to simply use my basic principle shader so I don't, I don't really need to do anything much here. Let's go back to solid for now. So for 
a simple water shader all you really need to change here is number one is the roughness you're going to want to zero that out and then you're going to bump up the transmission now you can also alter the specular if you want to but it's going to be a very subtle change so for me i'll probably stick it to how it normally is at 0 0.5 but really the only important things that you need to change here is like i said the roughness and the transmission but most of you will probably stop right there and then if you go to our material preview sure it looks nice it looks like realistic water but there's still a lot more that we can do number one is we can change the color to have it look like basic water so i'm just gonna go here and then i'll just add a shade of blue right here maybe this will do and then let me see at render mode let's just see at eevee if it looks okay okay so it looks okay so that's pretty much done but there's something missing here our material here or our water shader here it's not translucent we want to see the monkey being visible if we look up above here so to do that since we're currently in eevee now caustics sure caustics is also avail available in eevee but it's highly recommended that you do it in cycles so we're just going to switch over to cycles right here and then of course set it to gpu let's set our viewport and render samples to 20 we don't really need that much for this one so after that let's try to see it in render now as you can see now currently it is the monkey is sort of visible but it's not fully visible so what we need to do is we're going to go back to our water surface right here or our plane and then go back to our material properties now since the active material here is our water shader let's scroll down and go here to our settings okay not here in our settings where is it is it is it in viewport display okay it's in viewport display and in view under viewport display you're going to have settings here and then you're going to get you're going to enable screen space refraction and subsurface translucency so when we go back to our render mode it's more visible than before so that's pretty much completes our water shader right here now i'm just going to price this up a bit so we can easily find it later on all right so let's just double check all right it's still looking nice <clears throat> now what we're going to do next is of course set up our light source now we already have a default light here i didn't bother deleting it but let's you can easily use this one but for this one i'm going to use a sunlight right here and then i'm going to maybe tone it down to around 200 and then see how it currently looks okay so the light is currently reaching the object so which is good now you can already see a form of caustics right here but this is mainly how you would normally see it it's not the actual caustics we want the details of the water surface to manifest here as a form of light caustic so this is where a little bit of setting up comes into play before we can re render caustics now we already pretty much done with our caster we're already done with our light surface i mean our light object all we really need is to enable a few stuff now first things first you're going to enable in our light object shadow caustics so what this basically does it's your it's going to set up the whole caustic simulation you're it's going to be used as a form of light that can cast caustics so next we're going to go to our water surface now since the light will come into contact with a water surface first what we're going to do is we're going to tell blender that this will also cast caustics because light will pass through this one first so select our water surface first and then click on our object properties right here and then if you can't find it let's just go to our caustics here you can just type in caustics it's under shading right here so there we go we're just gonna go to shading and then it's under here caustics now we're just gonna enable cast shadow caustics so now blender will know that okay if light passes through here i will need to cast the light using my original model right here so when that happens any detail that i have in my water surface will reflect here as a form of light caustic but it's, there's actually a lot more to this than that because what we need is we need to have a receiver we need the objects that we want caustics to show 
is to receive said caustic. So we're just going to select my Suzanne monkey again. And then this time, instead of cast shadow caustics, we're going to select receive shadow caustics. So if we try to render now, now currently it's very different to what it was earlier before. Here, here's what it looks like if it's disabled, and this is what it looks like enabled. Now currently it's not properly showcasing the detail of the of the water surface because we have a very low resolution of our ocean modifier. So let's just bump up our resolution to let's say 20 which is, as you can see here, it's much more finer now. And then let's go back to render mode. And then let's try to rotate this one a bit. Try and see if it's showcasing it enough. Okay, so I had a little bit of a technical malfunction here. I have no idea why it did that, but what happened here is uh, my default light, the one that's preset here, and when I change it to sunlight, it's not responding correctly. So I just deleted that, and then I added a new sunlight with the exact same parameters. So I just made a new one, really. So there we go. As you can see right here, we already have caustics being visible on our monkey right here. Now, to add a little bit more spice here, let's maybe add a sort of flooring here or maybe like a sort of wall so we can actually see more so i'm just going to add a new plane maybe we just make a basic like a pool setup here so this is just fairly quick okay so I have a basic basic floor setup right here, but what we also want to do here is I want to I want the flooring here to also receive the caustic. So it's basically the same principle right here, or the same concept as we did here in our Suzanne monkey. So we're just gonna go here back here to our object properties, and then we're just gonna have it receive shadow caustics, and there we go. It's receiving our caustics. So let's maybe bump it down here and then lower this one as well to have you see once we render so let's just simply render that and then for it to actually finish rendering and then you can see the caustics okay so we're pretty much done with our render here and that is how caustics can be simulated in blender now water is definitely the easiest caustics that you can easily simulate in blender glass takes a little bit more time and a lot more setting up to do but more or less they like i said already it's more or less the same process but if you want to know how to simulate glass maybe i'll try to make a video out of it in the later future but for now this is how you can simulate water caustics if you have any questions just leave a comment down below and i'll see you in the next video